that atmosphere at Wrigley Field, you you knew they were going to. It was going to be an an atmosphere and a, and a crazy atmosphere. But living through that, having seen that first World Series game, uh, was it what you thought it was going to be? The atmosphere. It was fascinating, Dan. Because yes, before Game Three, it was Mardi Gras in the streets from about eleven a.m. in the morning. I mean, it was Mardi Gras, New Year's, all combined together. Then when they lost, and then they lost the second game as well, and they still weren't hitting, it was a weird dynamic last night. And I spoke with Anthony Rizzo about this, and I asked him, what was it like playing in this game with all this tension? And he said, he said, I almost had a heart attack three times on the field. And he said, one thing that I felt was the nervousness of the crowd. I mean, it was a double-edged sword where they were excited, but at the same time they were nervous. It was like Fenway Park pre-2004 where you're like, all right, when is the other shoe going to drop? And I thought it was really interesting that Rizzo, playing in the game on the field, picked up the nervous energy of the crowd. So it was loud at times, and at other times it was eerily, you know, nerve-wracking. So it's really different dynamic in that park than anywhere else. And I didn't know if that the atmosphere added more pressure to the Cubs, understanding what this game meant, what this series meant to them. You can see their faces as opposed to being in Cleveland. Is there any benefit to the Cubs being away from Wrigley and this atmosphere? Uh, I would say the only benefit is you got Kyle Schwarber as the DH. Yeah. He has a much better lineup. He's going to give you a better at bat atmosphere. Um, I didn't think Cleveland was that loud. You know, when things were going well for them, they were. But it was really cold in Cleveland, Dan. So it's one of those games where people have their heavy jackets on and gloves. And, you know, that one game that was four hours, a lot of them were leaving school night before it was over. It wasn't as loud as Wrigley Field. I think it will be for game six. Uh, but. I think the Cubs are in a bet. They won't be, listen, they won't be nervous or uh, calendar the pressure in Cleveland. I think they're in a good spot, especially with uh, Schwarber back in the lineup. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.